I don't know about you, but I love the fall. We're smack dab in the middle of football season. Halloween and Thanksgiving are right around the corner. The Phillies are in the World Series, and the midterm elections are weeks away. All across the country, candidates are making their pitch to the American people. And one thing's clear. We're normal, and they're not. Even CBS News knows it. Face the Nation put on a parent panel, and a normal dad said something that CBS never would have aired just a year ago. Watch. What are your biggest concerns about raising children in America right now? John? The whole woke culture affecting our children. All these elementary schools and middle schools having woke culture pushed on them from the LGBT plus community for sexual identity and, and, and gender. We should be pushing the actual school studies, math, social studies, science. And it's not just Republican parents. Democrats and independent parents agree. The child grooming needs to stop. I can also agree with some of his points. Um, I really would say sex education. I feel like um, some things, you know, are brought to the children's attention. They wouldn't even think about. You can teach them one thing at home, but when they go to school, they're just as much influenced by their teachers and their surroundings. And we should have more input, the parents, of what we would want them to learn. I'm hearing all of you echo a lot of the same concerns and agreeing with each other. None of you are very optimistic about the country right now. No. So parents already have to deal with high crime and inflation, and now they have to worry about demonic teachers turning their classroom into a drag show? You'd think Biden, who's almost 80, would know better, but he doesn't. Maybe that's why they call him Creepy Joe. The president, who's already in over his head, wasted his day chatting with a transsexual activist, Dylan, in the Oval Office, about why children should be getting sex changes without their parents' permission. Mr. President, this is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God and love you. Do you think states should have a right to ban gender-affirming health care? I don't think any state or anybody should have the right to do that. As a moral question and as a legal question. I just think it's wrong. Biden spent more time talking with Dylan than he spent at the border. Biden won't meet Elon Musk, the guy who's making all of his electric cars, but he'll meet with Dylan. The Democrats' message going into the midterms is let's neuter your son. He's going through a phase, so cut it off. It's wrong not to. But drag shows, sex changes, and 45 pronouns are now a part of American foreign policy. Our State Department gave Ecuador $20,000 to put on drag shows. I guess you'd call that soft power. If you see men dressing up as women in Ecuador, is that going to stop you from migrating to America? Or is it going to make you migrate faster? Did they run that by the border czar, Kamala Harris? I don't think the root cause of migration is not having drag shows. Does the Biden administration even know that American students can't do math anymore? We just saw the biggest drop of all time in math scores for fourth and eighth graders across the country. The Democrats closed the schools down and told all the students they were racists who needed sex changes. I wonder why they're failing algebra. It's almost like they want our children dumb and guilty and confused. It's easier to lie to them and load them up with debt that way. The Democrats are getting killed on crime, the border, inflation, and now parents across the country are livid over the identity politicking. The media knows November is going to be a bloodbath, so they're begging for other countries to interfere in our elections. The threats to our elections in, what, two and a half weeks are so pervasive and they're so dire and they include violence. I mean, do you think it's time to ask for friends and allies to come over and help us monitor our elections? We used to do that in other burgeoning and threatened democracies. Mexico, drop what you're doing on November 8th. We're going to need you guys to count some ballots. Democracy's at stake. Have the cartels stand out in front of some polling places in Texas for us. Beto needs some help down there. You know things are bad when Democrats are being heckled by other Democrats. You ran as an outsider, yet you've been voting to start this war in Ukraine. You're voting to start a third nuclear war. I don't understand why uh, having a border became a bad thing. When did that become a bad thing? Every country has a border. Yeah. 
It turns out Democrat voters aren't crazy about Democrat policies. Normal people don't love crime in 10 cities and teachers telling their daughter she's a boy. Hispanics don't like being called tacos. Whites don't like being called racists for wanting safe streets. And blacks don't like being called race traitors for having an open mind. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Democrats try to wrap your racial identity in your political identity. They try to reduce your skin pigment to your vote. So everything you do and everything you are is seen through the prism of race. And they've been doing this forever. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you oh. do with yours? What, which month is White History Month? No, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? On Stop still? talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. The American people realize they have more in common with each other than the Democrats have led them to believe. We all want the same things, no matter what we look like or what's between our legs. Safety, security, good schools, and low prices. The country is united around these issues against the Democratic Party. And it's the biggest threat the left has ever faced. Herman Munster said it best. Identity politics doesn't have a place here. The lesson I want you to learn is it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be tall or short or fat or thin or ugly or handsome like your father. <laughs> Uh, you can be black or yellow or white. It, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is the size of your heart and the strength of your character. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.